What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Formula One's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the New Age Mirage, which they call Spy Sheen, I guess. It's on loan to me from Robert D, and I'm working through all the stuff that he has sent me in recent weeks, and this one's no exception, so let's go ahead and get started, but in order to start, we gotta start with accessories. He comes with the blaster, painted silver, and great sculpt, and he'll hold that just fine. And he comes with the little missile bit, Painted silver, great sculpt. You can remove the missile that comes in his missile launcher standard and then replace it with this more kind of gnarly one, which is cool. So we'll start with the alt mode and I think they nailed it. Um, it's painted, the blue looks beautiful, the white looks beautiful, the chrome added on looks fantastic, the silver paint looks great, the detailings on the engine block looks great, the way that the missile kind of houses inside of the place where the driver sits I think is appropriate, the little um, vents on the side there look great. The wheels look fantastic with the pins, like the way that they did that. It's just smart stuff. Rolls like a champ. I think they I think they checked every box they needed to, honestly. And in order for me to check every box, there it is next to Tiger Tracks. Let's get them transformed. So bring down the tires. They're on one piece. So as you bring them down, rotate them towards one another so that they sit with the tires flush up against each other. And then you can bring this whole piece kind of down and you want to wrap kind of like imagine you're wrapping and that's really tight the tires in the front bumper. All right, the next step is is pretty awesome. So we're going to untab this CITA from both sides and we're going to split the legs. And we're going to rotate them down. As you rotate them down, you need to get the foot out and you need to get the tire out. And that will allow this whole piece to collapse. And then once it has collapsed, you got to get the tire back in. Move this piece around and as you do fold that in on itself. And then rotate that in. And then put the foot up and spin it. Very clever stuff. Let's do it one more again. So go to rotate this down. As you do so, move the foot out of the way. Move the tire out of the way. Because it's, it's this piece that's... This is the same bar here, right? So like as you move one, you're moving the other. And as you move this, it hits up against the tire. So you got to get the tire out of the way. Get this up, peg it in, get the tire out of the way again, move the engine block around, fold the spoiler on top of the engine block, and fold it in, move the tire back, move the foot up, and spin it. All right, now we're going to get the arms up and out of the way. So bring them, there's a peg at the top, so you got to pull down and then rotate out but just a little bit because there's pins here so you don't want to break it right and then rotate this piece down the tires go in the chest the bumper wraps around the flank of the figure straighten the hands flatten flatten the curve you know what I mean straighten the hands flatten the curve then you want to split this bit on his backpack This piece comes up. You got to get the missile up and out of the way from the side, up and then over the shoulder. And then get this out of the way, which will allow you to spin the waist 180. And then you can tuck this up behind him. Moving around to the front, you'll notice that his legs look wonky. So just rotate the hips up. And I believe that, oh, one last thing. These knee pads spin 90 degrees, um, and it's a tight little joint, so be cautious. Uh, and that's it. I'll clean them up. We'll take a look at them. Let's take a look at the figure. So we'll get in tight for the head sculpt. I think it's great. Looks good. Head is on a ball peg. Little bit up, little bit down, and you can get the side motion but it's a, it's, it's a tight little tolerance there, so it's kind of hard to get to. The missile will get up and out of the way to allow you to do some of that stuff too, which is nice, and of course it's painted silver. 
For the shoulders, they're on a ball peg. The ball peg is connected to a hinge, so it drops down, but unfortunately it doesn't get up anymore, so it doesn't really help you a whole lot with articulation. It just gets you out to 90 degrees, and then the swivel around. Speaking of swivels, you have a bicep swivel there, and a single hinged elbow that gets you slightly more than 90 degrees, and then nothing for the wrist. These flaps do move, typical Mirage fashion. Same on the other side. We have the red and blue paint there on the chest. We have a waist swivel. The hip skirts will get up and out of the way, but you don't really need to because they have drop down joints for the hips. Let me back out of taste. Um, but if you wanted to keep them kind of in line, you'll get the full Monty. You'll get the full Van Dam with no problem. There's a thigh swivel at a cut joint. And there's a single hinge knee that gets you slightly less than 90 degrees just because of all the stuff that's in the leg. Ankles, you can ankle tilt down. It's really all at the foot, right? But we'll give it to them. Slight bit up and then a rocker, but it's all at the toe, basically. Um, but I still think it's pretty effective. And, uh, I mean, that's him in a nutshell. There he is from the back. Size comparison-wise, there he is with the uh, Optimus and the Megatron. I don't know if that's supposed to be the right size, but it seems small to me. I'm not looking at the scale chart or anything. It just, you know, I often say scale is in the eye of the beholder and it's more about what feels right. It feels a little small to me, but I don't have really anything else real close. Well, you know what? I do. I have this little beachcomber. You know, there's beachcomber. I don't know. It seems like, it seems like Mirage should be a little bit taller to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm just talking about what feels right. And, of course, for tradition's sake, there he is with the old-school Iron Factory Scale Blaster and the Hasbro Stunicon. Final thoughts-wise, he seems a little small to me. And maybe I just haven't messed with new age cars in a long time, and, and I'm, I'm definitely willing to say that. I'm just, I don't know, something about him. And it's not just the size of the body. It's like the proportions are a little stunty also. And that's me being picky and very particular, which is par for the course. My only other criticism, really, all of the kind of articulation here is very, like, bare minimum. 90-degree elbows, 90-degree shoulders, 90-degree knees, no ab crunch, no butterfly, no sauce. You know what I mean? Just your, this is the bare minimum on each joint joint that's, success, that's uh, acceptable. And as a result, he ends up looking pretty stiff in a lot of poses. Lastly, there's some really small pieces with some really tight tolerances. Be mindful of the kneecaps. Be mindful of the bumper. Uh, it could be a recipe for disaster. And other than that, that's about all I got. Positive-wise, it's pretty much just what you would expect. The materials feel good. It's painted beautifully. It's decoed beautifully. The chrome is a nice touch. The accessories are cool. They're sculpted well. They're fully painted. While it is a bare minimum approach to articulation, all of your big pay basic points are in there. The sculpt is amazing, and the transformation is super interesting and fun and new and fresh. So ultimately, at the end of the day, it's a recommend from me. A very interesting piece. I just wish there was a little more sauce on them. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.